I want to get this floofy Eevee. And maybe the big chonker Pikachu at some point later. Maybe I'll do the same thing as the Meowth where I keep them pristine in one of these games and use them in the other. Which one do I use it in? I already have a pretty full party in... in Pokemon Sword. Like, I might get rid of uh, Togetic, which who knows if I even have it at this point in the series. <laughs> when this part is getting uploaded. Also, I've never gone into... inside one of these. Inside one of these max raid battles. The only max raid battles I've joined in, even up to part 20 of this series, was by seeing what my people on my friends list were going into and joining in with them. So defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance of catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. Looks like this time, on this file, or on this game, it set my symbol to the Team Yellow one. Looks like there's a Hootoot. There's a hoot hoot for that one. Do, do I want to do it just for funsies? Wait, did I want to hit invite others? Did I want to do that? Score bunny is my best right now. Okay, it's just a one star hoot hoot. So it should be fine. I'm just going to hit ready to battle. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, in the sword version, I went and immediately defeated that five star raid battle with Tux's help. Oh, star battle. Sorry. I have four trainers. We'll find. Yeah. That's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, with Tux's help. We managed to do that and then get my starter to level 38 and then 55 later. Yeah, I don't mind that look for my trainer, actually. I just need a hat that looks like this. Is what I need. Alrighty, um... Ooh, I may as well Dynamax because I don't think my allies will- Oh, this will be the first time I've Dynamaxed in this in shield version. Yeah, I actually look the like the look of my character now. I actually do. I don't mind it. <laughs> it's a big bunny. He's a super big bunny. Max strike. Ow. Okay, it wasn't even half my health, thank goodness. Please don't lower defense or something. My speed fell. Oh, there's Max Flare. Wow, that barely did anything! What the heck? That was barely anything. Come on, allies, I believe in you. Oh, noes. They're all doing about the same damage as my Dynamaxed score bunny right now. Yikes. Let's see here. 90, 80, 90, 90. And this one gets stabbed. Same type of attack bonus. The user intensifies the sun for five turns. Oh, so now my fire type moves are going to be even more powered up, though. Lowers the target speed stat, raises ally Pokemon's attack stats, and lowers target speed stat. I mean, it looks like most of my allies are doing special attacks instead of physical attacks, so I may as well not raise their attack and just stick with max flare. Follow me. I'll lead the way. Alright, looks like that one's gonna die now because of follow me. Oh, or not. Cool. It's speed, Rose. It's already going first, though. Does it really need to get the speed much higher? Also, is this area really loud? It looks like my voice is only just barely louder than the game. That audio level is usually perfect for, like every other game. Whereas this one, it seems like it's cutting it a bit close with the game being almost as loud as my voice. Not quite, but it looks like it's close according to OBS. Oh man. I'm glad he hasn't- oh jeez, that was one shot. <laughs> I'm glad he hasn't put up his shield though, because that would typically happen during max rate battles. I guess it's because it's a one star. I guess it's because it's an easy easy one star. Oh man, so close. So close yet so far. Ah! Hootoot -hoot is weak! Throw a Pokeball now! Okay. Yes. Let's catch the Hootoot. -hoot. 
Man, I'd very much like to make the characters of this game into emotes. Like, they seem like they would emote well on Twitch, you know? Like, I'm all out of emote slots for, like, Twitch emotes, but I can always make them extension emotes and emotes for my Discord server and such. That's what I can do. Are we getting the Hutut? We got the Hutut. Hoot Hoot was caught. Sweet. There's an extra small raid candy? I had no idea, considering I... I've never done the... Maybe I have done the one-star ones already? I don't remember. Alright, begins to hoot at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of cocks. Yeah, so that's our first max raid battle for shield version there. Cool. I was about to say, was it back? Doesn't seem to be anything in the den. This is a fishing spot? Ah, fishing! Do I really want to fish right now, though? Sure. Let's just get one catch here. Oh, it's a Goldeen. <laughs> I must splash around like I do in Smash Bros. Oh my goodness, I'm only one level higher. And you have a type advantage, so that's a bit scary, isn't it? That's a bit scary there. Also, it's in the grass in the wild area here that I got my Growlithe. What are you? Oh, you're just a Stuffle. Oh, there's an Oddish that blends in with the grass. Kind of cool looking around in the grass and seeing what Pokemon you can see. Like, the level of realness going around and doing that rather than the older games, which is just go around in the tall grass and, you know, get random encounters. This is actually so cool. See, so yeah, these ones that don't have beams, it looks like you get watts from. How do I engage battle with a Gyarados? I'm pretty sure you get a way to traverse the water later, and that's how you do that. There are so many stuffles. That was the same thing for a sword version. Looks like in both sword and shield, there's just stuffles everywhere. That's another p -dub. At first, I thought it was a Tranquil. This is what I honestly thought at first. What are you? Oh, you're just a Growlithe. Yeah, so I guess if I had to assume, Growlithe is probably exclusive to shield and... Bullpix is probably exclusive to sword. Freaking Tyrogue! Running out of nowhere. Trying to battle me out here. Come on out, score buddy. Sunlight is harsh. Also, with the special Pikachu and Eevee for having save data from Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. So, there's a Gigantamax form for them, but not their evolved forms. And, you can't evolve them. I guess they did that so that, you know, you wouldn't evolve them and then all of a sudden they don't have a Gigantamax form anymore. To make up for the fact that they can't evolve, they do have perfect IVs though. Meaning their stats are incredible. Okay, I guess we got a Tyrogue. I don't have one of those in Sword. <laughs> sure. Sure, man. Rookity grew to level 12 and wants to learn Fury Attack. Sure. Do I want to use this Rookity? I'm not using one in Sword version, so I could always do that. I think Rookity is the thing that evolves into that Steel Flying Bird. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So that'd actually be a pretty cool ally to have, you know? I'll think about it. I'll think about it as I'm going... No, not my party. <laughs> I'll think about it as I go through this game off camera. Uh, send to a box. Yeah, it looks like there's spots down. Oh, there's a seeking. It's really cool. Unfortunately, I'm not seeking you right now. <laughs> oh, there's a diggersby. So many growlets in the grass and a bunch of bundle bees too. And she's pouring out of the den, 300 watts. And this one has a Nincada? I, f I don't even remember what the watts are for anyway. I've, I've just kind of been collecting it here and there. Because why not? Yeah, so there are some tough Pokemon here and there. Hey, man. Whoa. I love how they interact with you as well. That's really cool. That's pretty neat there. I remember when people were looking at this game being like, What? Pokemon that are way higher level than you? will chase you down and just like destroy you. That's so unfair. And then it says like Xenoblade Chronicles fans where it shows like level 80 enemies attacking you in like one of the first areas. Because that's what happens in Xenoblade Chronicles. As an experienced Xenoblade Chronicles player, I'm very much used to that. I'm very used to that. Look how adorable. <laughs> that's so cute. I do quite like the wild area. I quite like it a lot, honestly. I must say. 
is quite what the heck is that in the distance anyway and why are there a whole bunch of floating bridges around it i guess we'll get to it later in this series i guess all right i'm pretty sure it's this station over here i'm fairly certain i think it's these guys hey have you and evie had a i can do it you've had a let's go experience with evie haven't you i hope you'll have another let's go experience with this evie too you received evie so yeah, that's a special EV that can Gigantamax. So yeah, Evolution Pokemon. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Well, I mean, this specific one can't evolve at all, apparently. Where do you want to send EV to? Add to my party. Is what I'll do. Boopity bop. EV will be added to your party, and Hoodoo will be sent to a box. EV, I gave you a special, you know. You should definitely Dynamax it. Yeah, so let's have a look at this Eevee here. This Eevee here. Yeah, so there's a symbol at the top there that shows that it's a Dynamaxable Eevee. So maybe I'll use it in this playthrough? Maybe? And then put other things in the spots for this... For sword version? I don't know. I don't know if I'll even use it at all. I'm not sure. What nature does it have? So increased attack and decreased speed. That kind of sucks. But you can change nature in post-game. But only in post-game. But yeah, so if you Dynamax this Eevee, it becomes, like, ultra floof. It becomes an ultra floofed Eevee. So yeah, just in case I don't use this one, maybe I'll keep it pristine and put it in a box. Like, where it doesn't gain any experience. You know? And this is the one for Let's Go Pikachu. Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... Oh no, I think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. My oh my. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? Yeah, I do, and I just got a Eevee for it, actually. Is what happened. Which is pretty neato. Yeah, I will... I'm gonna save here. And then I think I'm gonna go do a max raid battle with Eevee, just to show off the floof. Is what I'll do. Let's go do one. Just so we can show off the floof. This part is actually getting longer than I expected. This was meant to just showcase the... The opening ceremonies there. And then move on. So... Do I want to separate this into two parts after all? And they both be like 20 minutes then? <laughs> like one part about the... Eevee and the floof. And one part about the opening ceremonies there. In which case that part of Pokemon Sword would actually be part 21. Instead of 20. Man, I'm messing up my order so badly by doing this weird system, aren't I? <laughs> I'll figure it out, I guess. Uh, sure, don't invite others. Some trainers will join the battle. No, I wanted to switch away from Score Bunny. No! I thought I could select that afterwards. I was wrong. No, man. Oh, well, I guess we're doing a couple of max raid battles. I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, maybe I will divide up into two parts. That means that we're actually on part 21 of this series with Sword. If this is actually going to be two parts that I'm factoring with Shield here. Oh, I meant to Dynamax. Whoops. Well. Yeah. I'm completely messing up my order. I'm messing up my whole system here. But it'll be a cool end product. That's all that matters be a cool way to be doing primarily Pokemon Sword, but having shield included here and there. Yikes, one-shotting Torkoal there. Poor Torkoal, what did it ever do to you? Storm is raging. That's a very tiny Snorlax. That Snorlax is smaller than its trainer. What the heck? Well, can I not? Can I not Dynamax now? Why is that? What prevented that? I don't get it. What the heck? Nullify the statues and abilities of other Pokemon. And use Max Strike. On Halucha. Aha, no kill. No kill for you. I must say. Snowcast to recharge. Cover from fainting. And send out Torkoal, look at that. Man, these police officers look so weird. Oh, I can Dynamax now. 
Wait, no, I can't. It's somebody can Dynamax now. <laughs> who knows who, but it's not me. He's gonna swipe to Harden, apparently. Here's the wing attack. It wasn't enough to kill, though. Am I gonna have the killing blow? The answer is yes. A critical hit. You got a crit. Come boom, I love how the when defeated Dynamax Pokemon just explode. That amuses me for some reason. For whatever reason there. Alright, you get in the Pokeball, Nikata. Get in the Pokeball. Get in the massive Pokeball. Man, still the concept of giant Pokemon is still so weird. I don't know. It's such a weird thing. There we go, we got an Inkata that I'm never gonna use. <laughs> I mean, Shedinja's a pretty spicy Pokemon since only super effective moves can hit it. But it gets one shot by those. So, it's a bit spicy there. Uh, sent to a box. Cool. Julio, Julio. Okay, I guess we're doing another one. I need to show the maximum floof. Yeah, I did see a spot over here too. There's so many Growlithes everywhere. It's like Growlithes and Bunnelbees. That's what's taking up this area here. I don't know what the Watts are supposed to do. I'm not actually too terribly sure. Hey there, Bunnelby. I recognize you from Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Man, this wild area is pretty expansive. I quite like it. Oh, what? Can I not turn my camera like that? Oh, man. Mute my microphone and sneeze for a sec. No, anyone battle me? How about you? Do you dare take me on? Wait, I just realized I can't save now because my EV isn't pristine because the EXP share is always on. Dang it. Dang it, man. Which means I just have to... Dang it. Wait. Do raid battles give experience a route? I mean, it's too late now, now that I've engaged this person in battle. They don't! Dang it! I screwed myself over by battling this person. So much for that Ninkata. They're gonna be deleted if I want a pristine EV. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! I'm so dumb. What is up with that? I use Quick Attack, but it looks like Ember goes first anyway. So I'm doing this battle for nothing, and it's just gonna be undone if I want the pristine, perfectly level 10 with no experience EV right the way that it came. Something else that I found out is apparently you can get Mew in this game with the Pokeball in the same way that you could uh, in Let's Go with the Pokeball Plus, but you can only redeem it in one game, and I already redeemed it in Let's Go, so I can't redeem it here. If I'd known that I could save it for here, I would have. So that makes me kind of sad. That makes me a little bit sad there, honestly. So, you know, it feels bad. Man, oh man, that, e that, not easy. that Mew is stuck in Let's Go, and I can't, <laughs> what's this move, and I can't bring it over here. Maybe there'll be a way once Pokemon Home comes out, that'd be really nice, I would like to get my Mew over here. That barely did anything. This has the chance of hitting multiple times. Am I normal in flying type or just flying type, is the question. You avoided the attack. Are you kidding me? Yes, use pound instead of water gun, please. I'm so screwed this battle, aren't I? I really should not have started a battle with this trainer. Especially since I have to undo it all afterwards. I plan on keeping my Eevee nice and pristine. Like, maybe I'll decide to use the Eevee on this game later. I don't know, but just in case I don't. I want to keep it pristine. This is why it would be nice if there was a way to turn off the whole experience share. Situations like this. Like, they're oddly specific situations, but still, for the times when they arise, it would be very nice. You know? For all my nickets, I guess. Again, I have no idea what Pokemon I'm going to be using in this file. I haven't a clue. But we'll see what happens, I guess, as we go on. Because that's kind of what happened with Sword version. 
So it'll probably be what happens with shield here too, just to see what Pokemon I get along the way. Only this time it'll be a surprise each part, considering I'm only doing parts of shield here and there along the journey. But it's largely on my own time. So we'll see how it goes. I do quite like this fox though, I'll consider keeping it. But also with sword version, a few of my Pokemon are for max raid battles. Which, since I won't be streaming this, I won't have as many opportunities to do max raid battles with friendos of mine. So I'm probably not going to be getting a ton of Pokemon for max raid battles in shield version here. They'll probably be mostly from the wild. You know. Okay, there goes Sobble. There goes Sobble. It's hit four times. Yeah, that Eevee's not pristine. Now that he's gaining experience. I don't want that. Oh, I send out Score Buddy. Can I send out the Floof? Uh, just in case the Floof faints. I won't do that, actually. I need the Floof in tip-top shape so we can see the ultimate Floof in the Max Raid Battle is what I want to do. That's my plan. It's the Score Buddy face-off. Well, Double Kick, I guess, is probably my next best move. Apart from Ember. So I guess I'll do that. Looks like I'm faster than hers. Thank goodness for that. Growl, so rude. So unbelievably rude. Let's go ahead and use Double Kick. For slightly less damage now because of Growl. Using Growl again? I mean, as long as you're not damaging me, I'll take it, I guess. Sure. Oh, now you're using Quick Attack. R-O-O-D, Root. Alright, one more. Should do it. There we go. Jeez. I should not have started this battle at all. Get experience points here. Boopity bop. If you Pokemon Breeder, Chloe. I'm gonna have to undo it all. Feels so bad. Oh, and then you vanished. Alright, let's see this one here. Oh yeah, feels bad that I'm gonna wind up undoing this. Alright, this is... Who is that? Clefairy or something? Clefa, maybe? Alright, switch Pokemon. We need to showcase maximum floof. That's all I need. There's the long cat that's in the box. The other event. Gigantamax. Let's not invite others. And let's see here. Time for maximum floof. If for some reason it doesn't let me Dynamax, I'm gonna be so mad. It is a Cleffa. It's a massive Cleffa. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And vibe. That's so adorable. All right. What is this here? This this move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it's using. So it's like protect. So it looks like things like Growl change to that. Interesting. Wow, all of these things that normally affect stats are that. Normal type attack that Gigantamax Eevee use. The move infatuates opponents. All right, so yeah, that's the unique attack. Looks like it's set to quick attack, or it'd probably be set to any damaging normal type move that Eevee would have, if I had to guess. So yeah, this is the one that's exclusive to the Gigantamax Eevee. All right, time for maximum floof. Maximum floof incoming! Look at that floof! Eva. Eva! Look at that floof! We have now achieved maximum floof. Look at that! So adorable! Oh, we're not doing a lot of damage right now, huh? But look, Clef is now infatuated. I mean, who wouldn't be with Floof that crazy? It'd have to be stone hearted not to be. Clef is in love with the Eevee, but so am I. Because <laughs> that is adorable. That is so cute. It's a massive Floof Eevee. G-Max Cuddle. 
The freaking clouds are around Eevee's right ear. Yeah, we could always use this Eevee throughout the playthrough. I don't know. I don't know if I want to or not. Club is in love with Eevee, aren't we all? Aren't we all? I'm going using Focus Sash. My oh my. Oh, that's spicy, isn't it? So, I'm not actually 100% sure if Gigantamaxing makes them stronger than just Dynamaxing. I would assume so. Or if it's just an alternate form. I assume it's a bit stronger. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's my last turn of Floof. I think. I'm fairly certain that's the last Floof turn. Okay, the Cluffle was finally able to act. It was finally able to do something. Yeah, there goes the Floof. Just down to regular Eevee now. Feels bad. Here's a quick attack. Bonk. Wing attack. Looks like one of the NPCs is gonna finish it off. Most likely. Yeah, there's the evolved form of Cleffa. A fairy. Which then evolves into Fable. I almost forgot for a second. I was in the middle of the sentence and then I almost forgot on the spot. Oh, I guess the NPCs want me to finish it off. I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh, just getting rid of stat changes and stuff. Still infatuated. Disarming voice. Ow. Wow, nobody fell. Incredible. Alright, let's finish it off with a quick attack. This is what we do. To Michael Bay. Throw a Pokeball now. I'll do it. Even though I'll probably undo it. Go Pokeball! What's that weird design on the back of my- Is that freaking Squobit that's on the back of my character's hoodie? Is that what I'm stuck with now? Man, I didn't want to be stuck with a Squobit on the back of my hoodie. Whoops. We got a Cleffa, not like it matters. Gotcha, Cleffa was caught. Sweet man, you caught Cleffa. Cleffa's day will be added to the Pokedex. Star-shaped Pokemon. Because of its unusual star-like silhouette, people believe that it came here on a meteor. Would you like to give Cleffa a nickname? Uh, nah. We want to send Cleffa to? Send to a box. As always. Alrighty, so that's gonna conclude the Pokemon Shield stuff for now, since we're doing a whole bunch of stuff on Sword version anyway. I'll debate about using Eevee, or maybe, 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 if I can find somebody I know with <laughs> Let's Go Pikachu or something, I can go chat with them and get the special Pikachu here as well and consider using it. I don't know, because it'd be, it'd be fun to potentially use Maximum Floof, our big chonker Pikachu. Maybe, maybe. What's this weird idle animation? Is it because I'm on the cliff there? I guess it is. I guess it is indeed. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna call this part here. Whatever part this is now. Now I've lost track. It's either 9, 10, or 11 at this point. <laughs> Something like that. So the next part that we cover of Pokemon Sword will be the first gym then, is what it'll be. So my score bunny will probably be evolved by then. Maybe I'll be using a special Pikachu or an Eevee by then. I don't know. But for now, in terms of this series, it's time to hop back into the main part of this series, which is Pokemon Sword version. So yeah, for anybody who stopped by to hang out and watch at this part of the series here, the Pokemon Shield stuff, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. And yeah, I'm going to call this part here. So until next time then, see ya.